Now please join me in the prayer for all the souls in purgatory. You can remember the departed souls of your near and dear ones. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brother, sister, the helplessness of man is visible right from the beginning of human existence. From the sight of a newborn babe, we can understand that. He is totally helpless. This is the real situation of human beings. Many things happen and various situations develop in the course of life which are really out of the control of man. He will be reduced to a mere spectator and just forced to undergo like a hapless victim. It is here a kind of fear that grips man. It is in this context what is said in Isaiah 41.13 gains relevance. It says, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Therefore, my dear friend, the guarantee given above is again verbalized in a more explicit way in the book of Nahum chapter 1 verse 7 the lord is good a stronghold in the day of trouble and he knows those who trust in him this means that he will never abandon his children throughout their entire lives for he is always with us no matter what we face as he further promised in isaiah 43 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. This is the reason. Even when I was facing one of the most difficult situations that can happen to happen in anyone's life, that I was quite cool and confident, fearless and tireless, because I know and strongly believe that I can count on my God who has promised his protection for me and for you. Therefore, let us believe in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 which says Fear not for I am with you Be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you Yes, I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand The Son of God and the Redeemer of the world too told us the same thing in John 14, 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. This is the guarantee that we have received through the scriptures from God the Father and through His Son Jesus. Therefore, my friend, be bold, be strong, don't be 
shattered don't be grief stricken don't be demoralized no matter what happens to you because god is with you be strong and be bold and be at your best god will guide you he will hold your hand and make you to walk through the most difficult valleys of life but you will not be shaken you will be ultimately victorious because it is god who will do the fighting for you that's all for today please keep me to in your prayers let me now give you my apostolic blessing for your family your work and for yourself may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen if you experience peace and joy after listening to this talk then in order to continue to remain in it please share these talks with others immediately if you have started receiving unexpected blessings from the lord after listening to these talks be grateful to god and to god alone the more you hear these talks the more will be the blessings that you receive to you my dear friend a special thanks for listening this talk now wish you all good things in life in the mission of the church bishop franco molakel